House Majority Leader Steve Scalise of Louisiana toured the new LNG facility under construction in Plaquemines Parish. As Sabrina Wilson reports, the project has already put thousands of people to work and Scalise says it's good for the U.S. and some other countries. On a 600-plus acre site next to LA-23 in Plaquemines Parish sits a mammoth liquefied natural gas export facility. This is a 20 million ton nameplate facility which is uh, how the industry kind of measures the size of these facilities. At full capacity, we'll, we'll have um, uh, significantly more production capacity than that. Uh, and so we'll be around almost one ship of LNG a day will be produced by this facility. It will be around 7% of the global supply of LNG coming coming from uh, this facility. U.S. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise and some of his congressional colleagues visited the sprawling facility adjacent to the Mississippi River. And ultimately it's going to produce natural gas LNG that's going to be exported to our friends around the, around the world. And so you think of a country like Germany or Poland that will benefit from this facility and they won't have to get their natural gas from Russia. As construction continues, Today, there's around 6,000 construction workers on the site. 500 permanent jobs are expected. Uh, nationally, uh, we're probably over 30,000 people working on the facility right now. We flew over it with the head of the Army Corps of Engineers, and it just, it's one thing to hear about it and read about it, but to see the, the massive scope of this facility, just how big it is, uh, and, and it just, to think that we can still build things like this in America. Economic development, Plaquemines Parish welcomes. Years ago, uh, Plaquemines Parish was solely uh, depended on uh, oil and gas revenues. And now with Venture Global and, and the infrastructure that they have here, that's where the revenues are going to come in. Personally, that was my big, big, big pet peeve that I think that they should, uh, I thought that they should hire locals. A towering wall surrounds the site. We're very proud of the design. It, it actually has uh, five times the steel of the Eiffel Tower just in the wall. So, but it allows to keep us stay, safe from floodwaters um, and hurricanes. Last week, there was a crane accident that resulted in one person suffering minor injuries. Despite that, the company's founder and CEO says. This facility, like our first facility, has one of the best uh, safety records in the world. And I'm Sabrina.